Good evening, Nada fans. Or morning, actually. This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you the Nada End of Summer Tournament, which is going to be now. Well, pretty much now. And we're going to be starting out with Kmar and Common Player once they get their game started. It will be on Nuclear Winter. A map which is... Which, if you watched the last Nada Tournament, should be fairly familiar. Anyway, so let's, let's look at the brackets first. See who's playing whom. So first off, we have Kmart and Common Player. At the same time, we have Lego Man and Vanersha playing also Nuclear Winter. As well as everyone over here. Rest and Dash vs. Gin, Moon Man and Leifel, and Awesome vs. Koyo. And Goda and Daniel Kalina are given the buys. They will be in round 2 on Valus Man and Anus against... So yeah, Kmart and Common Player will be fighting Vermind most likely, since Placeholder is not a player name, that is in fact simply a placeholder. Not sure why Vermind isn't just popped up over to round 2, but anyway, that is how that goes. So the winner of this will fight Vermind, and the winner of that will fight whoever wins between Lego Man, Vanersha, and Goda. So, the winner will fight Goda. I'm sorry, Lego Man and Vanersha, but... You, I mean, give it a shot, give it your best shot! We are going to be starting up the game eventually. I don't know why people what people are playing for. What what are people waiting for? Okay, so when the game starts, we'll get on that. And anyway, with Excuse me for a second, I need to just deal with some stuff here. Yeah, when when we get to that, we will have the game start. So yeah, for those of you not familiar, Nada is... Well, it's very different from Zero K. If those of you watching my normal streams in Zero K, it's basically much larger scale. If you haven't actually heard of Nada, which I'm surprised if you haven't, but yeah, larger scale, total annihilation based game. Basically, where Nada is the love child of Total Annihilation Command and Conquer, Nada is the love child of Total Annihilation and itself. Sort of, basically, is itself squared. Everything about Total Annihilation is just sort of bigger. That will probably mean games lasting 20 to 30 minutes, decent amount of defenses, and probably a lot of time spent just building up huge armies before finally one player just completely washes over the other like a tsunami. And we are starting the game, finally. And yes, yeah, so it will be using the 0k music because not a, at the present does not have music. That is music that I have used before. Hopefully not too big of a problem. Anyway, what until the game gets going, and once it does, then we shall have that. So it'll be Kmar and Common Player. Not entirely sure about their standings in the community. Common Player, I do recall playing before. Kmar, on the other hand, probably also was playing this. But we'll see how they play once the game starts, because, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to watch them too much, unfortunately. It is one of the things I am... Not quite as familiar with the Nauta community as the Zero K community. The only time I'm going to actually point that out, that I am not super familiar with the Nauta community. I'm not entirely sure where everyone stands. So the game has pretty much... Okay, it's starting to get going. Right. So we have... Oops. Oh, okay. Apparently... What the heck? Okay, there we go. Apologize. Apologize that screwed up. So we have in the... Okay, so on the west side of the map, we have Common Player and Kmar on the east side of the map. Both of them starting out in the southeast, which on this map does mean that it's going to be a little bit... Okay, that's... That's better. So on this map, we're going to have Core... Or rather, we're going to have the... Common player is playing as core, while Kmar is also playing as core. Both of them playing as core, those of you not familiar, core is a bit of a stronger race, a bit tougher, 
slower. I think units might be a bit more expensive, but overall it is a fairly fairly powerful race. I mean, faction. Similarly to the original Total Annihilation, it's the same general idea. A powerful faction built around having a lot of well, power, really. That's the thing. It's a powerful faction. It's not it's not super cheap. It's not super fast. So we're starting out with three metal extractors and it looks like three no, five solar collectors, which is a little bit interesting, into a vehicle factory for common player. While Kmar, on the other hand, is going for... And it looks like they're doing... Wow, a lot of solar plants. Not sure about that. Looks like six... Oh, wow, they're building all their economy around before building any factories. Or... No, not quite. They are building a factory pretty soon, but this is still about twice the economy you need. Typically, the start-off is about four metal, four energy, and then build a factory. And the factories are tuned more or less so that four metal, four energy will power a single factory pretty reliably. Right now, we have... Okay, we have Kmar just getting up there. Pretty good for energy. They're still using a lot of metal. While, on the other hand, we... Almost, I apologize. The... Common player, sorry, Kmar is player one, so this is Kmar's economy, common player is the same. But yeah, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter all that much. Common player is now setting up a vehicle factory. Sorry, Kbot Lab, I'm, shit, that's, it looks very similar to the armed vehicle factory, I apologize. So yeah, Kbot Lab is being constructed, not, not, not a vehicle factory, so much more typical start with Sprintress being built first. Looks like getting a quick scout in first. Surprisingly, not going for AK Storm Mix. Or Storm Thud mix, not right off the bat at least. Well, Kbot Lab coming up for... Okay, so both Kmar and Common Player are doing the same thing. You're getting early off Sprinteress. And it will be a... Well, quick scout into... Probably choosing what they do after the scout's complete. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. When I was getting a refresher course on Nada, we were primarily playing Arm, not Core. So I'm not entirely sure how... If cores changed, I mean, the last tournament it was basically Storm Thud with a better power later on, but now it seems like Sprinteress and Morty if you really need to. Now it looks like Sprinteress is actually fairly big. Hmm. That is an interesting thing to note, and we'll have to keep track of it as the tournament progresses. And it looks like we have a bit of an energy shortage for Common Player, sorry, for Kmar. Common Player, on the other hand, actually, also, both players have an energy so shortage. Common player is trying to get up some radar right off the bat. So common player right now does have okay, does have radar all the way out here. While on the other hand, Kmar, same thing. So both players know the middle of the map pretty well. They know what's going on there. They don't really have much to worry about. I mean, Kmar actually does not... Okay, now Kmar knows about this stuff coming over the mountain here. These three sprinteresses over here are sprinter eye. Sprinteresses... <laughs> Stupid Latin plurals. Okay. Just go with Sprinteresses, because it is English. Alright, we have... Quite a lot more production from Common Player. Kmar appears to be focusing... Okay, the same way. Going to the south as well. So, Kmar right now moving to defend the south side of the map, while Common Player is having to defend the north side. Kmar, assuming Common Player had built up over the north side, we'll find out that is not true. Common Player, in fact, built up at the south side just as Kmar had. Both players are going to be meeting up pretty shortly, although Kmar is going to have a slightly better time at defending this common player. While well, they do have a local advantage, they're coming up with this one Sprinteress. The, se the second Sprinteress does still have a way around this. Well, over here in the south, this is where the important thing is happening. And it looks like not much luck for common player having to retreat their Sprinteress army back. Losing two of them, so we're actually going to lose all three. Not even going to be able to retreat. All three of them just go down. And this point, Kmart does have a slight military advantage. While on the other hand, Common Player is well, getting a lot of energy back. So Common Player right now, low on metal, full up on energy. While on the other hand, Kmar is doing pretty well for metal. And also for energy. Both players so both players are good for energy, but yeah, now we're going into a second Kbot lab for Kmar. Confidence added in from defending that one attack as well as the improved economy. It means that Kmart can very easily build that up. 
Kamar also expanding along, or at least trying to secure some territory along the south side. No workers yet, though. Actually, no, there is. There is. There is a Necro. So definitely the south side is being secured. Kamar trying to take that, getting a very early lead as a result of that initial defense. On the other hand, looks like Common Player is trying to set up north. Not really sure if Common Player... Let's see, where's Common Player set up here for... No, can't really tell. Okay. So Common Player is... Not setting up any Necros over to the north yet. They are actually going to the center of the map instead. So the south side being claimed by Kamar, the center being claimed by Common Player. Kamar will be... Yeah, Kamar will be pretty far ahead here. So Kamar right now is going... F well, still a Sprintress. Yeah, Sprintress apparently is the thing to do for Core in Nauta. Well, the surprise, like I said, I expected AK. I expected AK early on, followed by Storm Thud, but apparently it is the Sprinter, as both players have agreed on that independently. That is apparently the metagame. At this point, Kmar does have a nice grasp on pretty much the entire southwest, sorry, southeast side of the map. Common player a little bit, a little bit choked out. I mean, they can start building up to the north. They can get the north center as they are right now. Pretty much unimpeded. Although, Kmar is going to be checking this out. These two sprinters here, they are going to be actually not finding it. They are going far too north. Not going to find that metal extractor, though. If they're lucky, the Necro might actually come up north. And yeah, the Necro is actually going back. So the Necro will be spotted out by the sprinters pretty shortly. The common player well aware of these. The radar does spot them. And some defense sprinters are being sent in to deal with that. On the other hand, Kmar... Still not particularly aware of what's going on in Common Player's base. Not aware of where Common Player is expanding. I mean, they can assume Common Player is expanding, but they don't actually know. So right now, in terms of overall economy, Kmar has 26.5 metal, and Sprintress has 23. Sorry, Common Player is 23. Sprintress just does sound like a player name. It really does. It's just, I don't know why it's a unit name. Like, Sprinter. Sprinter would be fine as a unit name. It's the... Appending us to the end doesn't really add much, I've got to say. But anyway, defense... Dispense of the Sprinterous army has been deployed, and Kmar has to avoid that. Allowing Common Player to expand pretty much with impunity. However, Kmar is starting to agitate along the south side. They are pushing in, trying to get some... Well, they're kind of just playing footsies at this point, trying to figure out where they can attack. And actually, they do have a slight advantage... Uh, okay, not really. It would have been a very slight, very brief local advantage right here. But it looks like instead, Kmar is looking to flank. Sending up half a dozen sprinters to the north, probably going to go down from there and flank this out. Well, Morty has been built, so we finally have something other than a sprinter is being built in this game. And thuds as well, so a couple thuds and a few Mortys as well. Well, on the other hand, from well, the Kbot Labs coming out of Kmar, there is nothing but sprinters. Absolutely nothing. It's all sprinters, all the time. Sprinters Radio. And sprinters Radio is... Looks like they're about to be shut down as the Thuds and Mortys are approaching. And the Morty fires out the first shot, damaging the Sprinters. And Kmar notices this, gets out of the way, tries to regroup the Sprinters army. And it looks like the half dozen Sprinters to the north, they aren't, they're not doing much. I expected they'd be harassing. Possibly Kmar is expecting an attack, a flank of Common Player. Might be expecting Common Player to go to the north. And then Kmar has to try to pr hold that off at the pass. Well, again, not really. This is the pass. This is just a plane. But they do have to... Well, have to fight now! Sprinter's coming in here, but it looks like Kmar will have this numerical disadvantage and is not really focusing any of these units in, so all of the Sprinter's are pretty much about to die. Take out what they can, and reinforcements are incoming. Well, the Sprinters will be going down fairly shortly. Actually, nice move here. Kmar goes to the north and tries to eliminate a lot of the advantage from the unit counts by simply getting out of range of half of the units that Common Player has. And it works pretty well. Common Player loses pretty much all their advantage for numbers. And we go back to neutral here. While at the same time, Kmar is attacking to the north, gets rid of a Metal Extractor. We'll be getting rid of a few Metal Extractors. And the south, that battle is over. But Kmar has pretty much won, or at least it's, it's reset to neutral. There's... No real advantage. It's still kind of a stalemate here, but Kmar going for round two and will be able to win round two while also going into the northwest. Sorry, just center west. And there we go. Kmar is taking out all of Common Player's defensive forces, cracking open the south side of the map, and Vehicle Factory has been built up, which won't be really in time. At the same time, 
Kmar finishing off common player's forces here. The common player is very much wide open. Well, at the same time, Kmar, the center west side, taking that out. And over to the main base. Kmar's not actually... Oh, Kmar's going for air on top of this just to seal the deal, just in case. And over to the... Okay, all these melee strategies in the center west have been destroyed. Common player did not come out of the defense in time to deal with that. And going over to the north, Kmar will be able to tear apart everything. Everything the common player has built up will be torn apart by Kmar. Except for the main base, but that's just a matter of time at this point. The common player getting vehicles and a couple levelers will be pretty handy. I don't recall. Levelers... Okay, it doesn't mention the splash damage. Sorry. For anyone who's, including myself, who's more used to Nada, there's going to be a lot of false friends going on here. And Vajpover is not a false friend. That is just a fighter. Standard fighter. It looks like... Actually, no, sorry. That's ground attack. I'm thinking of the basic fighter for arm. Yeah, that's actually an anti-ground fighter. Which will be fairly useful, especially when now these levels have been scouted out. And that Vasp is... Okay, not doing too hot right now, but it likes it over to the north. Over to the north, the Sprinter is finally being destroyed by Common Player's Forces, but Common Player's Forces are now totally out of position. The only advantage being that these levelers are right here. And these levelers do not have armor, by the way. Unlike most vehicles, levelers do not have armor. They're completely unarmored, and some construction vehicles coming up as well. I want to call them Masons, since that's what they're called in 0k, but I guess that's not what they're called here. However, I don't know how much that leveler is going to matter. At the moment, we still only have Sprinters coming in from Kmar. Proving to be very powerful, and one of the levelers has gone down. A second leveler about to go down, both levelers down, and Kmar pushing in, possibly to take the game. Definitely to push pretty hard, at least. The factories are still under the protective glare of their main tower. The core tower, of course, having the giant laser that we just saw. Pretty early. Yeah, there's the there's laser range. Does have that giant laser. Will actually not be able to deal too much damage. It looks like... The, I think Kmart's going to take this right now. Vehicle factor not producing much. The K-Bot factor is trying to produce what they can. But at this point, Kmart moving in with more reinforcements. Yep, there come the reinforcements. The Vashps are in place that they want to continue to attack. But it doesn't matter. There is a small battle over the north side. But that's not going to do much. Common player realizes that's game and resigns. That is... That's the first game for today. Nicely done. Kmar, that was a really nice... That, that whole thing here. The fact that this south fight, that went in Kmar's favor. I mean, the first defense, that gave Kmar a slight advantage. But the fact that the really good tactics, really good positioning of the forces over here... There's one thing to point out for anyone more familiar with, with 0k than Nada. Units can shoot through each other in Nada. Or more or less. It's not exactly the case, but it's basically they all arc. So in effect... You can have a giant ball of units that's all hitting at once. Unlike in 0k where units cannot shoot through each other and so you have to pull units into a line. That's very important and Kmart took full advantage of that. That was very nicely done there. So that is going to be the first game. The next game, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Let's see the brackets. So we have Kmart Common Player, which... So Kmart will be fighting Vermine. I'm not sure if that's going to be the next match. So oh, I do not know what is going on next. I will be getting told that fairly soon. But I'm not sure exactly what that is. So bear with me while we wait for the next game. And I think I'll probably put on an intermission if nothing comes up in the next minute or so. Let's just... Let's just wait on that. So yeah, Kmar... I'm, I am interested to know when that change happening. You know, the, the change in the Sprinteress, I I mean, like I said, I haven't actually shown this, I haven't shown this game in months. So I'm not sure whether or not that change is something that is new, or if it's a change that has happened like, just after the last Nauta tournament. But at any rate, we'll have to look out for Sprinteress in later core games, because that is apparently the thing to be done. And in the meantime... My guess is that, given the brackets, it'll probably end up being... Okay, let's double check what game's being played right now. So it appear that, at the moment, we don't have a whole lot of games... ...being played. Which is rather unfortunate, because that is something that we need to have happen, since, you know, I don't want to be here all day. So it appear that, right now, we're... Okay, unless Polar hasn't actually updated the brackets, we haven't actually had any other games besides Kmar and Common Player that have started. Not even finished, just started. And I know... 
Leifel was actually observing the game, and for some reason, Moomin and Leifel were not actually playing. Not sure why that's the case. So I'll have to wait on that. Anyway, I guess I'll just go for an intermission, and then I'll be back once I know what game we're going to be doing next. So stay tuned for that.